Well, this was a reception hosted in Buckingham Palace behind me last night where the Queen's consort was receiving a number of uh, charities and people who work with survivors of domestic abuse. One of those who was in attendance was Ngozi Fulani, the chief executive of Sister Space, Britain's leading domestic abuse charity that predominantly helps black women. And this was a conversation that Ms Fulani said happened between her and a member of the royal household. When she was asked where she was from, Ms Fulani had said... East London specifically, Brixton. And this was the response from a member of house, the uh, royal household who went on to say, she says, no, what part of Africa are you from? I don't know. They didn't leave any records, said Miss Villani. Well, you must know where you're from. I spent time in France. Where are you from? Miss Villani said, here, UK. No, but what nationality are you? Miss Villani went on to say, I am born here. I am British. No, but where do you really come from? Where do your people come from? My people, lady, what is this? Well, this allegedly happened at this event last night, just before the event itself happened. Miss Villani uh, said on social media that the next few hours passed with a bit of a blur. She said she felt incredibly insulted by the comments and has, it's left her feeling traumatised. We have heard uh, from a spokesperson from Buckingham Palace who has said in a statement, in this instance, unacceptable and deeply regrettable comments have been made. We have reached out to Ngozi Fulani on this matter and are inviting her to discuss all elements of her experience in person if she wishes. In the meantime, the individual concerned would like to express her profound apologies for the hurt caused and has stepped aside from her honorary role with immediate effect. So an uncomfortable position for the palace. An admission, though, that these comments, in their opinion, too, were indeed unacceptable. That member of staff who's alleged to have taken part in this conversation has indeed resigned with immediate effect.